Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have another thrift haul video for you here today with a decent assortment of clothing items. So, first of all, thumbs up for Spyro. Anybody else play the first Spyro games for PlayStation 1? Got this shirt re fairly recently. Really pumped on finding it. Uh, different from the stuff that I normally sell and show you guys on the channel here, but that's okay. Let's get started with what I picked up to sell. This is a J. Jill Merino wool. It is just a size medium, and typically J. Jill sells better in the larger sizes, but Merino wool in very, very nice condition. I'm gonna pick that up every time. Uh, so that cost me like maybe six, almost $7. Probably sell for 30 or more, so. Uh, and then we got this Pure Jill. This is in a size XL. This is called the Soft Touch. Yeah, it's Soft Touch Cotton. So, uh, like a three-quarter sleeve, I guess, or no, maybe that's a long sleeve. And this nice dark reddish color, um, easy 25, 30. J. Jill is one of my best performing brands. Um, it is just one of my favorite brands to pick up and sell. I don't grab absolutely everything, but I don't exclude a lot in that brand, that is for sure. Because even the stuff that will only sell for like 20 still moves pretty quick. All right, we've got this men's Patagonia XL, just regular button-up plaid shirt, 100% organic cotton. Just a really nice uh, basic shirt there, you know. Patagonia shirts like this don't have a ton of it. It's not like grabbing a jacket or something, but should still be able to get an easy 25 or so for that. Little bit late in the year to be picking up golf shirts, but I still grab them when I can because they just, they're so good, they're so easy, and you know, I find they move pretty quick for me, even if some of these end up due waiting till spring again, but this is a Peter Millar, just a nice colorway, just nice, you know, soft blue, whatever that symbol is, some golf club. In any case, size large, you know, it's an easy 2025 for me. And now we have a, uh, this is a new with tags. So this was, uh, this was cool. I wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags, but it's this sort of heavy, heavy cotton, durable cotton, um, you know, button up shirt. It's, um, I don't know, maybe it's a shacket. Maybe I would call it that. It's not quite, it's more just like a heavy cotton shirt. It's work shirt-esque, I guess, but where it's new with tags, I definitely wanted to pick it up. And uh, it is a size medium, uh, retail price 55 US. So this was just a return to the, uh, to the outlet store. I think I'll get 35 for this, no problem. And now we have... Oh yeah, this was a really interesting one, and I, I wasn't sure about it at first, but I decided to pick it up after looking at some comps. So this is a size extra large NASCAR, like actual NASCAR brand hoodie. And you know, it's just got like a, a pretty good hit there on the front. Um, NASCAR established 1948, full zip, got the pouch down there. And what does it say down there? Oh, just like the NASCAR spell out. You know, if it had a little bit louder of a print or some more, or maybe like with certain racers or something, or, you know, something on the back as well, probably get more. But this is like a really nice, like raised, uh, you know, raised embroidered or raised stitched on patches or whatever that is, uh, lettering. So, you know, I thought it was worth it. Looks like it's probably gonna be somewhere in that 35 range. So I'm happy with that. And then this was the first item I saw when I went into this particular store on this particular day. And uh, I mean, I just knew it was gonna be a good day at the time because this is a Travis Matthew, um, yeah, like Travis Matthew vest, golf vest, full zip and snaps, and it's new with tags. So this nice gray with like this almost digital um, pattern so yeah um, it's called Snowbody Better lifestyle performance 
wrinkle resistance. Trying to see if there's a uh, suggested retail price on there. There isn't, but anyway, it's a size large. I think this is going to do really well. This is going to be at least fifty dollars, probably more like sixty or seventy. So that was exciting. I knew that it was going to be a good day when I saw that. And I've got just a couple of other items I'm going to pull from this other bag here. Did not have everything quite as organized as I thought I did. All right, so this was from another store, but man, these were just so unique. We had to pick them up. Lane Bryan I've talked about plenty of times before. This is not always a great brand to pick everything up in, but certain unique things or certain styles or new with tags is, is good. And this is new with tags, size 24. Um, but these were so unique. So these are crop pants, as you can tell, with like this raw hem. But then they've also got this crazy strip down the entire side of like raised fabric and, and this raw hem all the way down the side. Like that is nuts. I've never seen anything quite like that. I think these are gonna do really well. Um, you know, it doesn't mean I'm gonna get huge money for them. Probably still only like 35, but I think they're gonna move pretty quick. So I'm happy with that. And then a couple of other things we picked up. So this is a pair of uh, Levi's wedgie straight in a women's size 28. So the wedgie jeans still seem to perform pretty well. You know, they've got the button fly. I hate button fly pants. I think it's the most, as a guy, it just seems like the most inconvenient way to have to try to, uh, you know, do the thing you need to do. I, I just, it seems completely unreasonable to me to have button fly. Like it seems stupid, but hey, people like it. So I will sell it to them. Um, yeah, wedgie jeans. I mean, size 28, that's a pretty small women's size because this isn't the same 28 that a uh, brand like, you know, plus size like a Lamp Bryant or a Tord or something would use. This is the small 28. Um, so it might take a little while, but I mean, it looks like these are still holding, you know, $35, $40 value. So um, I actually picked these up in a store that has lower pricing than my new, usual store. So I don't know for sure, but I think it was somewhere around $550 that I paid for these. So exciting stuff, exciting times. And this last item is just a basic pair of uh, Carhartt men's pants. These are 3830s, you know, in that carpenter style. They got the little hammer hook there. Um, yeah, carpenter style, gray men's pants in a 3830. Again, um, you know, I sell Carhartts all the time for that 25 to 30 range. Even if they're not in great condition, these have no stains or dirt or anything. Like these are really clean. They look almost new. So I feel like, you know, I'll list them around 30, I'll take 25 and I would have just paid that 550 price. So um, yeah, good value here today. Um, I knew when I walked into that first store and I saw the uh, Travis Matthew new with tags vest that it was gonna be a good day. And it was um, because there was more from this day, but that's gonna have to be another video because I've got uh, another stack from another store but in any case a little bit of a shorter one here today but I'll try to keep it a little bit concise instead of rambling on for 45 minutes at a time hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what your favorite item from this video was and we'll see you in the next one peace